Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video, and I am in the swamp, as you can see, trying to hide to the best of my ability because the new Dinosuchus is out, and it is one of the most frustrating things in the world to tame because it literally aggros onto everything, and it just makes you really frustrated because it sometimes senses you, sometimes doesn't, but there is a really easy way to go ahead and trap it like you see behind me right here, and I'm going to show you how to do that, and then you can literally tame it in the safety of wherever you you want to bring it because one of the most frustrating things about these guys is anything that comes nearby they aggro to and uh, yeah that's problematic but you can just walk up inside of this kind of cage and then you can feed them now you can use metal and uh, stone can take damage i believe but they're super easy to tame if you just trap them because you can use the boat and actually scoop them up in order to actually pick them up. You just have to find one. Pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that real quick before we get started. So all you need is a raft. Okay, So raft is pretty simple because the entire swamp you can drive through a raft with. So for those of you that are like, you can't use it. Yes, you can. Um, so definitely use a raft. Now, what you want to do is you want to either do it right down the middle or you want to build it to one of the sides. It's your call. I'm going to build this one right down the middle and you're going to lower two foundations foundations to the very front just like you see here and you're going to leave a little bit of space so you can drive because you want to be able to aggro them if you need to so we're going to go ahead and again this doesn't matter i mean i would use metal or stone but it's up to you so you're going to place a one two three see how i've got it right there a set of two foundations and two ceilings leaning off the front of the boat now we're also going to pick up some rafts here just like you see here i mean ramps just like that is right there and then the next step is going to be to place walls now the secret is you want to place walls that are either just like this doorway or to have the actual double doorway so that's why using metal and i guess stone and higher technically is what you want to go for because they can get through gates but they cannot get through this right here now Again, I just happen to have tech, so you don't need to use tech. Now, what I like to do is because they're capable of jumping, they can technically glitch out of the actual cage itself, so you have to put a ceiling on it. You can leave one or two open, it doesn't matter, but usually building something that looks like this is what you want to go for. Now, again, we're just gonna flap down this guy right here. This is a metal gate. You can use a normal gate with no problem. And again, there you go. So now there are two things you wanna do. One, if you're going for the scoop and score, just like you see right here, right? This thing. Yeah, if we're going for a scoop and score, you wanna find one first and then you want to just drive into it. Now, if you're going to aggro one on, get as close as you possibly can and sprint so it follows you into the ship. Now, they spawn all over the actual area over here, so you can kind of do it as you wish. I hear a Capro. No, it's a Dimetrodon. Okay, I thought it was another Capro. Now, yes, sometimes you get lucky and they will actually come over here, just like you see right here with this guy. Uh, he is kind of like not aggroed, but he is just laying still. Now, I'm not going to be able to get onto shore to actually tame this one, so we want to either pull him into the water or find another one that's in the water. Now, if you don't want to do either and you want to aggro them, just get up nice and close, wait till he gets angry, just like you saw him right there, and you're just going to sprint to the inside of your actual ship. Now, obviously, he's going to do some damage, but you'll see he quickly gets launched into the inside. Now, he can quickly turn out of it, so what you want to do is just do what I did right there, and now he is trapped on the inside. Now, obviously, he's going to be pissed off, and he's going to try and bite us, so avoid the bite because that thing hurts and that's all you have to do yes i am in gcm mode to show you ideal situations but uh you don't have to necessarily trap him like that now i'm gonna go ahead and show you how to basically get him to de-aggro because as long as you are inside of render range he's gonna stay pissed off so you have to leave render range you can do it with a pteranodon you can do it with an argentavis but as soon as you hear that music stop that's what we're looking for and then you can go ahead and go back into the area now notice how he's opening up his mouth he is nice and safe to tame. Even if you have a 150 after you go ahead and pop the kibble into him, that's all you gotta do. So, nice and easy. Um, let's go ahead and cry one up so I can show you how to do the scoop and score method. Let's come on, buddy. Thank you. And again, because they're so large, it makes it very difficult to tame these things. So you definitely want to capitalize on making it as easy as possible because, yeah, it's just not fun. Now, if you're going to go for the scoop and score method, which is also very doable, you have to do this a little bit funky, right? So if they're in the water, which they tend to be, see how this guy's kind of just chilling in the water? If you aim for their center mass, and that's what you're looking for. If you can go back, you can do a little 180 thing here and try and aim for their head. 
and let's see if I can get it to work. He's going to go ahead and run the other way because they aggro onto literally everything. Um, so try and do a little bit of a, a Yui here. Okay, really? He keeps turning in circles as soon as I get to that side. That's kind of hilarious, actually. But if you get its head and just force the... So see how he's opening his mouth? We know that he's going to be there for a split second. So what I want to do is I just want to get in front of him. Drive in a circle here. Come on now. And then I'm going to... No, don't you start walking, you turd. But I did pick him up, so that's a good thing. So we got him to scoop. Let's see if we can get him inside of this thing now. Come on, drive. There we go. Oh, we've almost got him. No, he moved to the side. So anyways, you can kind of see how it picks him up pretty easily. That's all you're trying to do. Now, because he's inside of this thing, you can aggro him inside. I do it all the time. Uh, but I would recommend going with the this one where you don't have to worry about as much aggro. I went too far to the left that time, I think. I, I did. But uh, you can kind of see the point of this whole thing. Now, once you see them open their mouth like that, you can technically just feed them. But because as soon as anything spawns in, changes, moves, or they feel like, you know, farting or something like that, it's a real pain in the butt. So we've almost got it this time. There we go. I think that's going to be perfect. And that, my friends, is how you get them into the actual boat. Now, I just need you to take another step, buddy. Come on. Nope, you're not going to do it. Cool, cool. Just what I wanted. All right, well, I'm not going to be able to show you that one. But again, to show you, all you got to do is piss them off again. If you want to do it from a distance, you can. Um, and as long as you keep sprinting, they can't technically catch you. So you can kind of just run right on up and in. Now, he will probably bite you. So if you have a little bit of armor, that's your best bet. But as soon as you get into the back like that, you're just going to sprint around, close that door, and he's inside the cage. Now, again, now that he's inside this cage, you'll see he's doing damage to the actual boat itself. But they are pretty tanky. So as long as we back out and get him outside of our render range... Boom, just like that. We can come back and he is ready to be tamed. He'll settle down for a second and then he'll open his mouth just like this. And that is how you actually tame one of these bad boys. Pretty freaking neat. Now, you only technically need Gilly, but if you do have bug repellent, it helps a lot. So hopefully this video helps you out. And if you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. That would be super helpful. If there's anything else you want to see, go ahead and let me know. All right, teach out.